this just in, Ben Milliken of Milliken Fishing is the GOAT of content creators for professional bass fishing. So if you haven't heard the news, Ben Milliken, Milliken Fishing, YouTube content creator, and one of the biggest YouTubers, bass fishing YouTubers there is, won the event Wire to Wire on the Bassmaster Open Wire to Wire on Toledo Bend. And he won it in dramatic fashion. He didn't just beat everybody, he crushed everybody. Won with over almost 80 pounds of fish, I think 77 was the fit the 77 78 was the final tally for him but won by 10 pounds and did it in dramatic fashion he just owned everybody it was a school in session he put on a flat out clinic out there on toledo bend and it brought me to this question we've had other youtubers or content creators who have attempted to go pro we've had a lot of professional anglers who have tried to step into the YouTube world. Rob Turkula tried to do, tried out the National Professional Fishing League a couple seasons ago and did horrible. I mean, horrible. And tried the Opens too. Didn't do well. And the Bassmaster Opens is the toughest field out there. First off, now we're going to see Ben in the Classic in 2024, which is great. Right now, he's tied for first in points to possibly get an elite bid, and that's even bigger. My opinion is, I think I could, I think you could see this happening. Ben is a forward-facing sonar genius, and while other people are fishing shallow and doing stuff, Ben tries to find fish a little bit offshore. Uses forward-facing sonar to find them throws all sorts of stuff. He throws a lot of six cent stuff because I think he's one of the owners, but he also throws big, giant, massive glide baits. I watched, I looked at uh, a collage of, of photos on Bassmaster and everyone had a giant glide bait in midair. And a lot of anglers don't do that. A lot of anglers don't fish that way. Ben is very successful at catching giant fish and it kind of equated in why he's doing so well right now. He came in uh, fourth or fifth in his first tournament and then winning his second tournament where these anglers that are on that opens are, there are a lot of studs out there. I mean, there are a lot of studs out there. So what he's done is just, it's unbelievable. Kind of predictable though, because Ben is really, really a good angler. So here's my question to you. Is Ben of Ben of Milliken Fishing the greatest YouTube professional bass fisherman there is. I mean, he's putting on, he's putting on a show. He's showing out what he does and what he does well, how he fishes well. He's very confident and calm. And actually when you listen to him speak and how he, uh, how he holds himself is very impressive. I say, I would say, I say some of his videos are a little clickbaity, but, and I had to, I had to turn one off the other day because of swearing that he said with my little boy. But other than that, Ben has is doing something that is phenomenal. And, and as of right now, if I look at the whole 2023 season, and I look at Bass Pro and MLF and uh, the BPT, I mean, and NPFL and Elites and then the Opens, right now I believe Ben leading after two, and it's only two tournaments, but winning one of those tournaments is the biggest storyline in the elites and in bass right now. I think it's actually bigger than Kevin Van Dam retiring because I think we're still going to see a lot from Kevin in the, in the future. But what Ben is doing is he's, he was the underdog. As much as you might not think he was the underdog, he was the underdog. People who are professional bass anglers don't really get, get along too much with the YouTube world. I know that's weird to say. And it's not that like the professional bass fishing are rooting against them, but the guys that are unbelievably successful on YouTube trying to convert into the bass world just is, it's, it's butting heads. They want to do what the YouTubers are doing. The YouTube guys want to do what the professional bass guys are doing, but it never really works out. And there's a lot of YouTube guys that have tried to make that switch 
and it just doesn't work. You either are good at one or good at the other, and Ben being good at both of them, and in this case, exceptional in both of them, is really impressive to see. I really thought he would do very well. I thought, I thought to myself, is there an outside chance that he could make the elites? Yes. But when you have Ishman Rowe and, and Bobby Lane, and you have unbelievable anglers in those opens, to put yourself in the category or above those guys is really tough to do. But after two tournaments, Milliken, Ben Milliken, has really been unbelievably exciting to watch. And for me, it was the only reason I wanted to see what was going on with the Opens. And he had the opportunity to go anywhere, to be honest. He could have went to the Invitationals, probably, and gotten a tour, uh, a, a sponsor exemption. Or he could have went to NPFL, which would have been a, a disaster for him. He could have done, he could have went anywhere. To have the, to put the thought in where the right place to be is another super smart decision on his side. He thought, where, where should I go? And he went to the Opens. The hardest most competitive angling group there is. And he's now, two after two tournaments, he's first in points. My hat is completely off to him. I'm unbelievably uh, happy for him, surprised at the same time, and I enjoy, I'm, I'm enjoying trying to cover the Opens now. I can't say that about everything else, but this is the one storyline that I'm even happy to see. And I don't know Ben at all. I would love to go fish with him because I'd love to catch some of those giant fish he has in Texas. I am unbelievably impressed by how good of a fisherman he is. Good isn't even the word. He's a great angler. He's a great angler. And I hope to see him do even better throughout this season. But quite honestly, this was really, really impressive to win Toledo Bend. It really was. So you guys tell me what you think. Is he the GOAT? I mean, I know it's only been two tournaments, but he's done really well. Comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take your kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you all soon. Cheers.